how to correctly use these linoleum block cutters so that you don't hurt yourself because while these blades are very sharp, there's really no reason for you to get cut unless you're doing something wrong. So here's what to do. First, you're going to always place your linoleum on a bench hook. So this metal bench hook has to go on your table so that it hooks in like this so that when pressed forward, it can't go anywhere. It should be flat on the desk and then you see there's this part that sticks straight up. That's so that the blade can actually hit this when you're carving if it slips. Then you put your linoleum on top of this. Now you might be thinking, but the linoleum's bigger than the bench hook. Well, that's okay because the whole purpose again is so that if the blade slips, it hits the bench hook and you can turn your linoleum in any direction you need to, to use it. Okay, so now I'm set up here. We have some different sizes of blades. I think the blade you're gonna use most of the time is the number three blade. And then we do have ones also, and we'll probably have some other different sizes by the time we get started as a class. The one's the smallest. So I'm gonna demonstrate using the size three. So, when you're cutting, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you hold the handle, the red part, in the hand that you write with, but you're not holding it like a pencil. You're not holding it like this. You're holding it like this. Like you just pick it up and grab it. Okay, so you just pick it up like this. Then the hand that you don't write with, that would be this hand for me, the best way to use it is to guide your tool by putting it on top above where the blade is. So like right about here on that little textured part. So if I'm gonna cut a line, I'm gonna always have my blade pointing towards this bench hook. I'm gonna put my finger here to guide it and I'm gonna press. And then a piece of the linoleum will come off. Okay, so again, I'm gonna put my finger here on that little textured area and press. And every time you do this, you're gonna remove a little piece of linoleum. So this is time consuming. This is not something that you're gonna get done really fast. Now, if this doesn't work well for you, putting your finger on this textured part, or if you're at all afraid, you know, maybe you cut yourself once before, or maybe you get cut and you're afraid, then keep the hand you don't write with out of the way. So watch, here's something else you could do. You could put this hand that you don't use, the hand you don't write with, put it across your project, then put the other hand on top that has the tool in it, and then press away, okay? So again, either you're using the hand you don't write with as a guide, or that hand is out of the way completely. That hand should never be in front of the blade, and you should never be pressing the tool in any direction except for straight up. Now what happens when you have lines that are side to side that you wanna carve? You turn your linoleum. So when I wanna carve this line right here, I'm gonna turn my linoleum. Now I'm gonna carve right outside my pencil lines. I'm gonna start right about here. I'm gonna press a little bit down at first to get it going. And I'm just gonna guide it. And, and as it turns, look, I'm, I can turn my tool too. I can kind of wiggle it. You can make like wavy lines. I'm going to pick it up when I need to turn straight up again. Okay, so again, anytime this slips, it would hit the bench hook. It would never hit your hand if you're doing this properly. Okay, so what would this number one be for? This could be great for little fine details like in my leaves here. Um, you could see like I, I can carve some small lines. I did that already. You can kind of see some of them. Small lines up here, maybe right here. I want to do this wavy line here using the size one. All right, so those are the basic how-tos on how to use these linoleum block cutters. So I hope that no one cuts themselves. We don't want anyone going to the nurse. We want to be able to carve safely and have a great time with this project. And then lastly, you know, since I've got all these little pieces here, just to make sure we're clear, all these little pieces of linoleum that come off, they go into the garbage can when you're cleaning up. Don't throw them. Don't do anything else with them. Don't, don't save them in your pocket. 
put them in your hand and put them in the garbage. Bye bye. Let's have a quick review. What is this person going to do? They're carving a line horizontally? Oh no! Always make sure you turn your linoleum so that you're carving towards the bench hook guard. This way, if your tool slips, and it will, it will hit the guard, keeping you safe. And for our last safety reminder, make sure you keep your fingers away from the blade at all times. Your hands should be behind the blade or on top of the blade, but never in front of the blade. Make sure you stay safe so that your teacher can stay happy. Now that you understand how to keep yourself safe, you can get started carving your project. Begin by first carving a line around your tiki. Then carve the space outside the tiki, removing all of the high part on the area outside the tiki with lines that are mostly parallel to each other. The lines do not have to all be straight. They can curve and they can wave, but they should be mostly parallel and not crisscrossing. This will take some time, but it can be a lot of fun and actually I find it very addicting. So I hope you enjoy it as much as me. Happy carving!